What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all staying home and staying safe during this current situation. And I hope my videos give some kind of entertainment for you all. So for today's video, I decided to do this full glam, glowy complexion with a bronzy, smoky eye. If you're new here to my channel, hi, my name is Christine. I make new videos like these every week. So please do consider subscribing and join my YouTube fam. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. Alright, if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so to get started, I'm going to moisturize my face. Uh, I'm using this Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. I do have drier skin, so I tend to go for moisturizers that are gel based and like really lightweight. This is very hydrating. Totally recommend this. So next, I'm going to move on to my brows. I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse. Now because like my brows are not that full and they're very sparse and thin and not that pigmented so I like to use um, pomade to like fill them in especially at the outer corners and then I'm going to use a different product for the inner portion of my brows. <laughs> Sorry I just dropped my brush. <laughs> So I like to line the bottom of the eyebrows and then line the top before I actually like fill it in. It's like giving yourself an outline for um, what you're going to color into. Another brow pomade that's really nice is the Benefit Cabrow. It has more of like um, a tacky, not really tacky, but it's not as like creamy and emollient as this one. But it's um, it's very it makes it very easy to use if you're like um, if you have a hard time like filling in your brows. It's a lot better to control. take the brow pencil from Benefit. It's called Precisely My Brow. I'm in the shade 3.5. And this is very good to like if you want that really natural look and you just want to like mimic the hair strokes of your brows. So I like to do that here in the inner corners. It also gives that like ombre effect. Concealer brush, like this. And I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. And this just uh, chisels the brows, and if you made any mistakes like shaping your brows, this will um, like erase that. I'm gonna take a flat, fluffier brush and just blend that out. Okay, and then next I'm gonna go in with my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. And this is pretty much like hairspray for your brows, it'll just lock your um. The shape in place and it also like emphasizes the hairs so that um, it gives like that microbladed look and it makes you look like you have more brows 
This is clear, so it doesn't doesn't have any tint to it. Another um brow like setting product that's really good is the Give Me Give Me Brow. It's a microfiber gel that volumizes the hairs. So that like same same effects. Look, and there's different shades. Looks like this. Especially like on your sparse areas when you like put this on it makes it look more full so next I'm gonna move on to the eyes so I'm gonna prime my lids first with this uh, MAC soft ochre paint pot another really good one that I used to use and love is the Urban Decay primer potion in Eden I tend to gravitate towards primers that have like a concealer um, tint to it just so um, like when you put it on it cancels out any like redness or discolorations that um, you might have on your lids and it'll prep prep it for like the eyeshadows to make it like pop more and stay true to its color I'm just gonna take um, a sponge and just dab that so it's seamless. So we are going for um, a bronzy smoky eye. So to start off, I'm gonna use that Soft Brown by MAC. And I'm gonna apply this to my crease. Now if you have a hard time like finding your crease, it's you just feel for your brow bone and right underneath where you feel that it's hollow and you can feel like your eye socket, that's where your crease is. So that's where you would apply. Sometimes our, like if you have hooded lids, it's not like so defined. It's not right away obvious where your crease is. So next I'm gonna um, darken the outer corners and I'm gonna go in with a darker color here from the MAC palette it's called Swiss chocolate It's easy to it's easier to go in like circular motions from like the lash line and then dragging it up then I'm gonna take another fluffy brush and just lightly blend out the edges so there's um, no harsh lines I'm going to take that same concealer brush that we use to sculpt our brows and I'm going to dip into the same concealer and we're going to clean out like the lid so that it prepares it for the shimmery bronzy shade that we're going to put and it just makes the color like pop even more. Just to make sure there's no creases and that it's seamless. I'm gonna take this Violet Vase palette and take this brown bronzy shade, sorry. It's right here in the shade Toffee. And these types of brushes are like perfect for shimmery shades that you're gonna put on your lid. Now we're going to concentrate this color more um, like right beside the um, outer color and we're going to leave some space here for 
an even lighter color. I'm gonna take a smaller detailer brush and I'm gonna go in with this highlighter and we're gonna pop that into the inner corners okay one trick that you can um, you can do to make the um, shimmery shade really shine is you can take your fix plus and you can spray your brush and then dip that into the color and then it just makes it look really foiled I'm gonna go back in with the same brush that we used for the outer corner and I'm just gonna intensify the outer corners just a little bit with the Swiss chocolate shade from MAC next I'm gonna take this pencil brush and dip into a darker color just to deepen our outer corner just a little bit more into this chocolate looking brown in the shade brownie points from the Violet Vaz palette now when I put this on I'm gonna concentrate it more on like the lash line like outside the V here like where your crease is like at the end right there fluffy blending brush I'm just gonna buff out the edges and then I'm gonna go in with a soft brown for a crease and I'm just gonna apply that to blend everything in and then I'm gonna use that shader brush then I'm going to dip it into the highlight and we're going to put that on our brow bone. I like to use a felt tip liquid liner. This is from Kat Von D. Um, it's the tattoo liner in the shade Trooper. And this is like really intensely black and it does not budge. This is really good. I've repurchased this like so many times. So when I line my um, lash line or like do a wing, I start out by running the color on my lash line like this. And then I'm going to take my bottom lash line as like a mark or a landmark and then I'm going to flick it out and align it to the tip of my brows and then I'm gonna start from the tip of the liner the wing here and then drag it to the center of my lash line So next I'm going to move on to my face. So I'm going to start off by freshening my face up with this Caudalie uh, Beauty Elixir Smoothing Glowing Complexion. And then we're going to prime. 
So I'm gonna use this Forsali Skin Tune Blur. Now this has like a glue-like texture to it. Feels slightly tacky. Now concentrate that more into like the center of the face, like the T-zone. It doesn't really have an immediate blurring effect, but and it does have like a sticky feel to it. I guess to um, make the foundation really like stick onto the skin. Next, um, I'm going to conceal underneath the eyes and on my dark spots. So I'm gonna take my favorite concealer, my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Warm Beige. Now this product has um, hyaluronic acid in it, so it makes it very hydrating and it glides on very easily and it's not like thick and heavy like what like what some um, concealers are like. And it does have a pretty good coverage. And then I'm going to mix it with a lighter shade in the same concealer. This is in the shade Almond. Because I do like that brightening effect, so I like to mix it with a lighter color. And put it here. And here. On the bridge of my nose. And take a sponge. This is from Real Techniques. Now this is a very good affordable um, beauty sponge. So if you want to save some money, just go to the drugstore and get this one. It's just as good as a beauty blender. It doesn't soak up a lot of your product. And I find that a lot of the drugstore um, sponges do that, but not this one. I'm gonna go in with the NARS um, Long Wear Radiance Foundation. I'm in the shade Barcelona. Now I'm gonna mix, cause I like more radiance since I am drier skin. So I'm gonna put a drop of this Farsali Radiance Make Skin Serum with hyaluronic acid. And take a drop and mix it with my foundation. I like to concentrate more of my foundation in the center because it's where I am. Like I do have dark spots the most. set my under eye so I'm gonna use my favorite Laura Mercier setting powder and to set our foundation I'm gonna go in with a Charlotte Tilbury airbrush air, uh, airbrush flawless finish so I'm gonna take the L'Oreal infallible long wear shaping stick this is meant to be a foundation but i just took the darker shade and i'm going to use it to contour this is very creamy which i like and it blends out really easily i'm going to take my sponge and press that into the skin and blend it out Now if you do have a hard time like finding where to put your contour, it's usually top of your ear here and then you align it to the end of your lip here. So like that. Take the concealer again just to define that contour we're gonna set that with a Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm gonna 
shape it for a more chiseled look. Now I'm going to take my MAC, give me sun bronzer, and just set the cream bronzer that we put on. flat fluffy eyeshadow brush now I'm gonna take my flat brush and just buff out the translucent powder here so I'm going to take my NARS liquid blush and orga orgasm this is a really nice pinkish shade with like um, tiny tiny gold sheen and reflex to it Take that at the back of my hand and dab that. And this just gives a natural flush to our skin. I'm just gonna take the beauty blender and just press that even more to the skin. Just a nice sheen. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Face Palette. And I'm going to take that shade here. And this blush here to set where we put the orgasm blush. I'll take a synthetic brush like this. And go into the highlight here. One thing I like about this highlight is that it's very, it seems to be like very finely milled. So it doesn't look very chalky on your skin. If you want like a really intense highlight, you can take the MAC Fix Plus and you can spray, so you can spray the brush and just makes it more beaming. You see that? There you go. And key this ball. Press that in. Right next, I'm gonna line my um, bottom lash line with the same eyeshadows that we put on our lids. So I'm gonna take a precise brush and I'm gonna take the darkest shade that we put on our outer corner. This here. Now I'm not gonna go all the way in. I'm just gonna stop halfway. I find that when I line it all the way in, it closes my eyes even more, which I don't want. And then I'm gonna take another pencil brush but a thicker and fluffier one than the previous and then we're gonna take the Cree shade this color and we're gonna smudge out the bottom lash line We're gonna move 
on to the lashes. So I'm going to curl them, apply a light coat of mascara, and then put on our falsies. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And this is a very good drugstore mascara if you like the volumizing mascaras. Just a light coat to prep them. Okay, so next I'm gonna um, set my makeup with this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And this will just help put all the makeup, like, this will help melt it into the skin. <laughs> Another really good um, setting spray is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I ran out, so don't have one to show you, but that's a really good one. Um, for the meantime, I'm going to move on to the lips. I'm going to line my lips with this MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. So for lipstick, I'm going to go in with this Too Faced. Um, Lipstick and Sunday Fun Day. This is part of their peach line. It smells really good. And then on top, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in the shade Ritz. And I just This just gives that like a highlighter effect on the lips. And it just makes it look more plump. Okay, now I'm going to apply my lashes. Uh, I'm using this Jim Ray lashes. I got this from Amazon. And these are really good. It was like $9, $10. And you get like five pairs. So this is the final look. 